are starting to fill up with McKinnon Park secondary students. They are very excited for tonight's high school challenge and anticipating a win against their rivals, Cuga Secondary School. Well, about 30 years ago, we were trying to figure out something different to do for a night show. And uh, I was just getting involved with the fair board at the time. And it was someone who uh, used to be on the board. He just said, why don't we do this thing with just getting the local high schools together to do relay style games. It wasn't hard for the McKinnon Blue Devils to get their school fired up before the high school challenge. As the games were about to begin, the crowd grew louder and louder with cheers while Sam Richardson showed off his competitive side. We've been practicing every day in the mornings, working on our dance moves, working on the skills. I think we got a good shot. McKinnon's going to win. Cuga's team member Tyra Osborne also had some battling words for McKinnon. We're going to kick McKinnon, sorry, but because they are going to get owned for the fifth time in a row. <laughs> Excited team members entered the ring and the first challenge kicked off. Let the games begin. <laughs> It's a high school challenge tradition to open the games with a dance routine, and it's always a crowd favorite. My favorite part would have to be when we took the shirts off and the girls just went nuts. That was crazy. That was such a good feeling. After each school performs their favorite dances, that is when the real games begin. There were many games played during the challenge. Some were easier than others. Some that seemed easy proved to be more challenging with the strong wind conditions. The high school challenges run for many different reasons. Organizer Jody Eason explained why. It's a way to get the kids out and excited about stuff, so maybe we get some camaraderie, some friendships, uh, some spirit building, supporting the schools, and it just winds up. It is taken on a life of its own. It's a highlight of the high school experience now. Although Cuga was crowned the 2017 champions, it didn't bring down McKinnon's school spirit. Reporting for Mohawk College Journalism, I'm Emily Thompson.